Well now, children, tonight old Uncle Tom is going to tell you the real true story. We have a subculture within the black community that enjoys and embraces being what I call, what history call, the niggas. But in the book, what I did was I made the word nigger an acronym, which is Negro Individuals Generating Grief Everywhere Routine. Again, niggers, ne Negro Individuals Generating Grief Everywhere Routine. And so I, I used it in that context within the book, and uh, definitionally is what I call it. But I wanted to show just how much damage, not only physically, but mentally and um, perceptionally what this small subculture within our minority is doing. When you look at, when you look at the homicides, you can do this for the last uh, five years. Let's just, I'll just keep it simple. Oh, I'll do it three, if you want. 53% um, of the nation's homicides have been committed by blacks. Mm -hmm. That's on paper, that's on record, that's on wax. Which is 13% of the Which population. Which is 13% of the population. But if you look at it, if you look at it under a microscope, it can't be all 13% of black people just out killing. Mm -hmm. So then we try to figure out, well, what percentage? Oh. So what if you just say, we'll take all the women out and we'll just use the men? Mm -hmm. That's about 6%. Damn, I didn't break it down like so that, go for it. All 6%, <clears throat> they're not out right. killing. Damn. So we gotta go smaller. So it's like, Yo, wow, you understand? It's probably like one percent or. I like, didn't want. I'm not. You know, I I got in trouble for saying that. For oh shit. One percent or two. <laughs> really? No yeah, shit. Yeah, it just caused unwarranted strife, and and I can't prove that. Anyway, I can't say one yeah, or two. Yeah. Right. Right. But it, my point being is that it's a a murderous minority within our minority, but they only exist because we allow it, them to exist. Mm -hmm. We allow them to impose their will onto us and us onto them, and. And um, so within the book, I just highlight um, the differences. And there's another group that I think that is comprises the most of us. And it's not blacks and it's not niggers. It's blacks with nigger tendencies, hmm. if you know what that means. Break it down. So, I mean, you got the extreme. You have black people um, working, hardworking, taxpaying, upward, mobile, uh, community assets. Then on the opposite extreme, you have the niggas. Community liabilities. They don't. They don't build. They destroy. Mm -hmm. They don't pray. They pray. You know what I'm saying? With the E. P R E Y. Right. Mm -hmm. And then there's their middle that I would say probably 80 percent blacks with nigger tendencies, which means they identify with a lot of this nigger shit that goes on. But then at the other, there's the other side of them that goes, I understand what it is to go work. And at the same time, while I'm working, uh, maybe I'll sell some weed out the back door. Mm -hmm. and, and with that, with that kind of empathy that we show, I think that is the true reason for the way the culture has slipped the way it has. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the culture used to be where we were, in, we were, in, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm not, I'm, I'm showing my age, I guess, because the way, the way shit is now is like, you know, so uh, the houses are running on autopilot. Mm -hmm. Parent is, is, she's friends with the kid, mm -hmm. or the son, you know? And um, so I think that's where it needs to start. So my work really wasn't for, like, it was only for, it wasn't for niggas because they don't read anyway. And it's, so that I knew I'm trying to reach a certain demo who can, who will go, oh yeah, I get it. And the book is about 200 something pages long. 293. Oh, okay. <laughs> Almost 300. Wow, man. I didn't, I didn't realize. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's packed with facts, facts, statistics, pictures, stories, faces, of, so that you can probably connect with some of the stories and see this little kid who was uh, who was shot by a man because the man his father owed him money. So the kid ends up paying the price for the dad owing him some kind of money. He wasn't even a lot of major money, but I guess, you know, worth this kid's life. Mm -hmm. And the stories you see this kid and you go, wow, he looks like my nephew. Or my son's friend looks like this kid. Or girls caught up in the drive-by, sleeping, house gets shot up, 
you know, uh, while, while she's watching TV, watching cartoons, which was the case for a girl in St. Louis. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, in, um, in Ferguson. Mm -hmm. um, but the Michael Brown story took precedent over that.